Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we started with our rocket, and maybe we will manage to launch it today. Um, top of the world is up here. Oh, that's a bit higher than our rocket that we have. But maybe um, our rocket still needs to be uh, bigger than it is. But we will figure that out in um, in due time because. We need to build a one piece at a time, and then we can the uh, piece above that. And I think we will at least start the, the first rocket, and we probably will need to fill the, the steam engine with steam. As we uh, get it, because uh, I have a feeling here that um, this gas pump will break because the steam can get a bit, a bit hot here. So yeah. So probably, yeah, we already have that on six, maybe up that to seven, and then all the rest um, we can uh, we can deal with in in due time, um, and hopefully. I'm I'm really not sure that maybe we will manage to uh, um, to launch the rocket but that's I would say not for certain. We also are looking at the stars here um, and we will look out further until we have looked up everything. So that will still quite take quite a while. And this setup is broken again. It's broken again because we had some uh, copper, liquid copper in here. We only managed to uh, drip in tiny amounts of water, which was not enough um, to cool things down. So, to do a proper fix, we probably have to wait the uh, 30 cycles until it gets dormant, uh, do a proper fix, and um, yeah. Um, What's the issue here? Oh. Solid block there. And um, something in here. Shovel X. Ooh, and um, we can kill the lava. Eventually we can also uh, kill the, the coat shell. How are we looking steel wise? We, uh, we probably need a bit more steel. Um, let's queue up 
20 we should have enough uh, iron for that otherwise we can always produce more iron or go up here and collect iron what happened here We are missing the station. This one. hit by a meteorite and I saw that in there uh, there was inlet for gas this one That's for a conveyor loop. So we could fill it up automatically. But we don't have to. At least that's what I assume. to make some progress here or there yeah that's the damage that uh, I wanted to avoid and there the steam engine is almost done and once we have achieved that goal, uh, we should also be uh, able um, to pump in steam. And I'm very glad that once we have this one filled up with steam, there we have it. And now we can add a research. And then back up, we need to dig out this here. Want to extend this wall up. Also, this here, that here. And that should allow us to reach this, uh, this build. Yes, we are getting steam in there. Uh, it's slow progress. We want to fill it up to 500 kilograms. That's the max. And I think that is then good for nine research modules plus plus a cockpit. Uh, probably we cannot fit that many um, on here, but uh, let's put as many on there as uh, we can fit in there. Alright, at least our piping is working well enough so that... Um, it's not cooling down enough to uh, to freeze in the pipe. 
That would be not so good. Uh, yeah. So we will have to continue to build up um, this rocket piece by piece. Um, and our next uh, observation is also almost done. So we can check out the next one which is out there and i think once we have looked at all the uh, celestial objects we are not needing the telescope anymore i could be wrong but i think you only need that to discover any potential targets. Okay, so um, let the duplicates go about their job. As the bunker charts down here are already pretty hot. Uh, which means anything we place on them will take heat damage. I decided to not have uh, another uh, observatorium, another telescope on here until we have better protection from above and then we can replace these tiles with different ones that do not have that problem. Here on this side, we do have already four <coughs> modules in place. So let's add the next one um, of the priority here. Um, and then we will disable auto repair on all the letters because even if the letters are broken the duplicates can still walk on them so there is no need to spend resources on fixing letters that are working perfectly fine and here uh, as i feared the gas pump has broken uh, already for the uh, second time however we are more than two thirds full so with the third gas pump we should be able to fill this tank and basically the reason why we have so many uh, uh, mo research modules is uh, we want to get to this this part and I think one research model module can yields or brings back 50 uh, uh, data points so we need four modules for this step here and then we need uh, eight for this one and then we can go directly um, to petroleum engine with a solid oxidizer and that will be way better than a steam engine but our duplicates have to get there first this was the last research module because up here we are at the top or two uh, blocks below the top and what we want to have on that level is some bunker doors uh, we'll do that here on 
this side we can just have bunk tiles. And then let's see. What we need here on top is command module. Let us there and then make all this priority six. And I have put up here a wire so we can power the doors. And we also want to have um Automation going there. Where is the switch? it here so we have access and we need a duplicant with uh, piloting skill and I chose uh, pay here would be good to have the next level but that puts us a bit in a pickle Gossman would have been the uh, other candidate but for him we have the same problem and we still need someone who can do research down here so um up here we probably need steel cable because eventually we will have hot regolite up here which will heat up the bunker doors and uh, normal cable might actually melt uh, is not a good thing so and we probably also want to bring all this cable in here have another gas pump built down there. Take this part out. And then... We can set the destination. Hopefully. We have a fuel tank, we have... Oh yeah, we need... Another atmosphere. Make that one out of copper. Or uh, 
the sun. And we have run out of lime, which is a bit of a problem because we need that for our steel. done until we are there all right i think we have all the pieces in place we have a assigned we have an atmosphere in there so let's deconstruct the gantry and apparently we need a telescope in order to uh select a destination so let's go here and once the gantry is destroyed we can open the doors and start the rocket that was fast the first mission and there she goes um, do we need to close the doors now we can leave them open and we should only have to wait three cycles for the return and it took us so long that uh, the copper volcano will also be dormant uh, once we got the, the, the rocket back so let's wait for that um, do a bit more stargazing we still have a few more objects to uh, inspect and we will continue with placing bunker doors here because under here we will need a bit of infrastructure for our future rockets and probably we need a bit of um, additional wiring going up there um, and somewhere around here we will have another transformer and put in a second cable because on this one we can still fit a few bank bunker doors um, but not everything on the other hand i am thinking do we actually need bunker doors because bunker doors are nice if we would have or want ha to have solar panels but if that's not something that we are aiming for um, i mean what we want from up here is all the iron and good way to collect this is uh, this robo miner uh, however they take quite a bit of, uh, of power so uh, what i'm thinking 
maybe for now let's just do that This should give us a bit of room down here uh, to uh, have more room for uh, preparation for future rocket missions. So, okay, we are one third in, so uh, let's actually cut to the return. And here we see our rocket returning. What goodies does it bring? Quite a few data banks. So let's actually close the door up here. And uh, in the next episode we will see what we can do with the data banks uh, and what else will await us so until then goodbye